Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. We have so much stuff to go over with you. Did you say take two? <laughs> yeah. Don't no. pay attention to that. No. We've got so much news to go over with you today. We have uh, just all kinds of news. This whole episode is dedicated to news, especially with GamesCon right around the corner. Um, so we'll get to that here in just a second. My name's Will. This is Mr. Nine. Yep. We have Mr. Gage. Hi. Guys, let's get right Actually, into it. Gamescom uh, is going on right now. Yeah. Gamescom is going on right now. We're we are, somewhere else right now. We, we are in, in a different <laughs> place. <laughs> this is all strange. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, so Sony has announced that there's a voting for PlayStation Plus games thing coming out. Right. Tell me a little bit about this. I'm getting some weird deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so basically, what this is is every month, well, you get your PlayStation Plus games. And every couple of times they're going to give out, and now you're smiling because you're remembering this. Um, they're going to give us a chance to vote on a particular game. So they give out, here's three games, vote for it, uh, and the, you know, the winner is your free game that's going to come along with your PlayStation Plus games. Which is cool. Which is cool. Second place uh, for people who voted for that game, uh, that comes at a discount for PlayStation Plus members. So yeah, they're going to get percent second. off of that. The third game just stays the same. It just probably maybe gets thrown back in the rotation. I was going to say, I don't know. I get re-rolled for the next, next round. But they're not... They're not doing this every month. Right. No, it's like every few months. Right. They're sure. not even doing it now. And they announced it you know, a week ago. Well, yeah. I mean, they're not going to have that be the format for things going forward. No, no. No, it's just, it's, it's a fan service thing every couple of months to, to drive community interest. And I love the I love the concept. I love the idea. I like idea. the fact that they're not doing it every month to, to, to what we were talking about earlier of, of not having people vote on the games that you might not want to mm -hmm. have for free. Let right. Sony still decide. You know, you might have your game up there. But it's a good like way to get people talking about PlayStation Plus again. Yeah, so, I, yeah. I agree. Totally agree with and that. And it changes, it changes the formula. So it's, and for Sony, it's like curveball. you know, yeah. you, you can actually get a kind of have a finger on the pulse of what do the fans really, the majority right. of fans really want. I just hope that I mean, it's just going to be a bunch. If it's as much indie games again, I'm probably well, I'm not going to care that much. I mean, if there's a AAA title thrown in there, I'm like, oh, now I'm interested. But at you least know? the the community is voting on which game that they want to play. Like if Rocket League was in the in the voting, pool, I'd vote for Rocket League again. Yeah, I'll give give it to me twice. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm just saying. I'm using it as an <laughs> right. Example, all right, Rise of Tomb Raider is confirmed for the PS4. Yep. A took, year after the Xbox One release. Yeah, it took forever. I know to, you and I, are, uh, especially you. God, <laughs> I'm so mad about this. A year's a long time to wait for this game. Because it looks amazing. Yeah, it looks like so much fun. Also with this game, it's three times as big as the original. With and zero there's loading no screens. loading screens. That's pretty cool. Yes. This is like... I mean, that's, I mean, Bloodborne does that. Just, you only load when you get, but just, I, I, I'll do it every time. You give me an opportunity, yeah, I'll make it. He played Bloodborne in like two months, and he still talks true. about it. I, that's not true. You know, when, when we watched the Three White months. Square shit off at, with Rise of Tomb Raider at E3, it was just another nonstop kind of adril, adrenaline-filled type of a game. Yeah. But they showed a really cool thing with a bear and that kind Yeah, thing. it was weird Nathan Drake wasn't in that trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Similar feel and style, but... It still has the feel of the old Tomb Raider games. It, yeah, it's again, it looks great. I like the I like the inclusion of the the, the dangerous animals again. But um, some Sony fans are like, you know, hey, I'll wait. They've got other things to play. Other yeah. games are coming out. It's coming. I just gotta wait till next year. I'm hoping that it will include the DLC that obviously will come out between here and there as well for the Xbox version. What so. if it doesn't? Then I'll be a little upset. Wait, and if it's a year later, you're still gonna pay sixty bucks for it? Probably not. It's not gonna be mm. sixty bucks. You don't think so? It'll be think sixty so. bucks. I think it's gonna be sixty bucks. I don't think it'll still be sixty bucks, bucks because so. Microsoft will have a clause in their thing saying it has to be released at full value. I don't think so. I'm just saying I don't think it'll be sixty bucks. I heard we'll here. see. Um, Bethesda, our friends at Bethesda are basically saying that Fallout Four is done as of now. So what that what does that mean? It confirms that we were right <laughs> yes. on this show. Yeah, always right. You should be watching Press Star TV every week because we're right about everything. Tell, tell the folks uh, who, who haven't been listening, um, who are just now tuning in, what are we right about? So basically, when the trailer came out, we sat here on the show and said that looks like a final build. That looks like it's pulled straight from a console, not like a PC, not but a, like not a dev build. Not I went my kit. Xbox One, and not that's what was on it. That's exactly what it looked like because it, it wasn't that super polished trailer that you usually get. It wasn't like this big teaser. Yeah. It looked like just there, straight I mean, up game There was game obvious footage. rough spots in the trailer right. with like the dog looked like the crap. dog looked 
horrible <laughs> in that trailer. Hopefully awful they, texture. They fine tune him. By the way, you are watching and listening to Press Start TV. I'm Will. This is Nine. This yep. is Gage. We're talking about all the latest news. Uh, so, so Fallout 4 is basically done. I guess. It, what else would they do at this point? I mean, Some just polish, uh, marketing, uh, quality assurance. That's yeah. probably what they're Testing. waiting on. Like the game. The, I think what they mean by basically done is they've got the story mapped out. They've got all the quests laid out. They're just quality testing it now. Probably yeah. like play testing looking for bugs. Like looking crazy. for bugs. They've got yeah. people around the clock playing the same stuff over and over again. Well, I also saw that you can play this game for 400 hours. And not see everything. Yeah. How do you play test that? Skyrim 2.0. <laughs> you hire an entire 400 hours. I'm so ready for this. My job is not ready for <laughs> this. <laughs> YouTube is not ready for this. We're gonna have to make so, like a bunch of episodes that? in it's like two two weeks. Yeah, we've got to record like yeah. two, six solid weeks, of, weeks of your two in a couple days. How many, many hours in a week? Four hundred hours. Yeah. How many hours in okay, a week? Okay, you figure ten days is two hundred and forty hours. Oh, well, that's easy. So twenty days. <laughs> so this is a month's worth of gameplay. Yeah, two, two, so so if I'm overwhelmed by The uh, Witcher, do weeks. I want to play Fallout Four? Probably. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm gonna play it. I so can't. I'm gonna jump into this game. it. You're gonna play it, but I don't think you're gonna you're gonna do what you do with. The I game. might do the same thing with The Witcher because there's so many games coming out at the time. The same day, Tomb Raider comes out. You know, I'm a huge Tomb Raider here's fan. The thing. We're me. talking about this again on the, on the checkpoint as well. The thing with uh, uh, The Witcher Three is like most people have gotten it, confirm it's an amazing game, mm -hmm. right? But even let, I mean, there's probably like 20 percent or 30 percent of the people have actually finished the thing, or even 70 percent so of the way. To do. Yeah, there it's really is. You and I went to the Bethesda briefing. You know how much there is to do There's in a Fallout. There's to do <laughs> so in Fallout 4. Do, do people fall in the same kind of thing or what? Oh, I, Fallout what? 4 is the one game I'll, I'll treat like Skyrim. I will do absolutely everything that I can before my next big title comes out. I think Fallout 4's got a bigger fan base, too. I agree with that. Yeah. So it's probably better get dedicated to you know, no, The Witcher. Oh, The Witcher? Oh, yeah, The yeah, Witcher. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Witcher feels like a indie game. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be talking about more news for dead. you uh, from the latest and greatest right after this. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we're talking about the latest and greatest news. Uh, there's so much stuff to go over. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is Gage. Um, so say something, Gage. Hi, I'm still here. I'm still in the room. <laughs> Thanks, Gage. <laughs> People on the radio can't see you going like this. <laughs> they didn't hear the door open and close, though. So, so we got some talking about uh, a new voting system for PlayStation Plus and Fallout 4 is basically done, all that kind of thing. Give it to me. Zombie U is getting a remake on Xbox, PS4, and PC. Woo! <laughs> hey, Your enthusiasm is intense. That game was, huh? Did no, you play it? No, all okay, I saw, so I didn't see it. Me. Okay, I didn't, did I didn't play, it? play it. I have not played it. I played it but and beat it. Did you like it? I did. I heard a lot of terrible things about it. I that liked game. it. I thought it was great. I thought it actually made good use of the gamepad, the gamepad the game except pad. for where it makes you get into your backpack, uh, basically on on the gamepad, and then you kind of everything's still live, mm -hmm. so zombies can come up to like you, and you're like digging through your backpack and all this kind of stuff, but you can't see them because you're looking at your your backpack and, and pay attention to what's happening on the screen. Well, then there, is, there is no second screen now. Yeah. So so yeah, we'll see how it, how it comes across. Dark but, Souls with zombies. It was a cool story. I liked it. Uh, it had a good feel to it. So you know, can't I'm excited. For I'm all I'm all for yeah. zombie games. Like, give me more. How much are you willing to pay for a game that's been out for two, three years? Thirty. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna upgrade it. Why would they just? They would port? not put Wii U graphics on the PS4 and Xbox One. Some people have. I agree with not. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. All right, so so you zombie you fans out there, look forward to that. Yeah, all three of you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm one. There uh, you go. Final Fantasy VII's combat system is getting dramatically changed. Nine. Tell me how much you don't like this idea. I don't like this idea. <laughs> I really don't like. You can't this expect idea. them to remake the game for current gen because I mean, everybody that's playing you know, RPGs has one. got babied into the Skyrim and they, right. But we're three generations Fallout. later of technology. I don't care. I want my classic turn-based RPG. I'm Play so Pokemon. sick and tired. Yeah, honestly, like Pokemon. Pokemon's good. I, ha I can't play Less Pokemon graphics. games, but so we're not talking about Pokemon. So, so <laughs> yes. you know, Final Fantasy VII. So dramatic. Will it follow the Final Fantasy XV style of gameplay? I have a feeling think? that's what they're going with. Interesting. Um, either that, or like the Final Fantasy XII and Final Fantasy XIII, the automatic combat system. 
where you just pretty much assign your actions and the characters just back to time them. battle. Yeah. No, I said they said they weren't following that. That's not following. That. Yeah. Thank God. So. I mean, do you think they receive a lot of backlash from fans? If they do introduce the Final Fantasy 15 mechanics, which is basically no, a... No, I think if they want to do it that way, they should keep it kind of like the Final Fantasy 7 area where you still engage enemies through like running into them, and then you go to like a closed arena and fight that way. Probably like Xenoblades. Xenoblade Chronicles? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like that. So we'll see what happens, but you know, I don't think they'll stray too... I mean, <clears throat> as long as it's in the best interest of the game, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see a new take on it for sure. Yeah. I'm not upset. You don't even um, like seven. Doesn't matter. I, considered I was hoping to have by a many to be one of the greatest. Not uh, by this guy. Final Fantasy. That's fine. By many. Eight is others. the best Final Fantasy. Let the world. Let us know what you think. Uh, comment on that. Um, Final what? Fantasy Twelve <laughs> is getting know. a remake as well. What do you guys think about this? Why would they do? What, do six or something? I hear six is incredible. And six hasn't been touched eight, since it was eight, turned they from did three six, to six. They have to build it from the ground up. So. Aren't they doing that with they did seven? Anything pre seven? Yeah, especially with the new right? just in that they're remaking it. They're totally new. It's like a new game. I know you like twelve, but I, I like twelve. I, I'm a little. I really did. God. All except for the stupid Zodiac spear. <laughs> oh God, what a weapon! I think I, I can recognize just about every Final worth. Fantasy game except twelve. I don't know anything it about is twelve. It's kind of with you on this one. I, I don't. I feel like yeah, six or eight would have been a good. Eight would have been a great a better choice. I would throw money at. I would pay hundred and twenty dollars for a remake of eight. That's how much I love Final Fantasy VIII. I really would. Does that story make more sense? No. Right. That story makes yeah. less sense. Oh, perfect. Sure it does. Well, Final <laughs> yeah, Fantasy XII is better. getting a nod there. I mean, interestingly enough, but some fans out there, you know, Final Fantasy I seems really like 12. the thing about Final Fantasy games, it's like each some fans love it all, some fans love particular ones. and it, That's exactly it. You know? I mean, we, we got love them lightning on the show every week, so... Uh, so Capcom has decided to give Resident Evil 2 the best Resident Evil a remake as well. Hold on, not they haven't decided yet. It's in the pitching. The developers phase. want are pitching this to Capcom right now. It's in the conceptual stage. Gage, what are your thoughts on this? Boo! Make four again. <laughs> they don't want to make four. Why not? <laughs> because they have Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil, what was that terrible online one? Oh, you Operation. named 6 and 5. <laughs> 5 was great, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was too bad. I didn't like 6. I loved 5. 6? Let's not talk about 6. <laughs> yeah. Six was six was interesting. Revelations was uh, Revelations was really well. Yeah, it was really good. well done. Revelations 2 is doing really well. So here's another game that you liked from yesteryear. Yester, yester year. Sure. This is two generations ago. Right. You know, I, three generations ago. The, the Resident Evil 2 is an amazing game. I There's love no it. doubt about in, it. In my opinion, it's the best Resident Evil. That's wrong. Uh, we know. Uh, you've <laughs> told us several times. For weeks. But no, I say, you know, it, Final Fantasy, or Final Fantasy. <laughs> Resident We're Evil past 4. That well. yeah, Resident Evil 4 is also amazing. Came out on the, the Cube. Uh, <laughs> the Cube. <laughs> it, it was absolutely. Tell us, Gage, about the Cube. It, it was really, really good, though. It wasn't a, a, a good game. <laughs> They did port it uh, to the PS2, I think. Um, Resident Evil 4? Resident Evil yeah, 4, yeah. Yeah, it came out on PS2, and it wasn't as good as the GameCube version, ironically. Because you know, it wasn't yeah. supposed to come out on the PS2. It was supposed to be, only, it was supposed to be a GameCube exclusive. And, and it was an amazing game of the Cube. So, yeah. I, But, um, you know, I'm not upset about this. Okay. That's great. Good I for them. It. I'm not upset because people are making more games. I, just, right I don't know that I'm excited to see some of the remakes, but whatever. I can't stop it. And I'm there's potentially a new Battlefield coming to 2016? There is a new Battlefield there coming. There is a yes. new Battlefield. And, and an investor call with EA confirmed that this year they haven't, they're haven't. they focused on Battlefront. Next year they're I mean, turning tied up. Right, so, they're turning back to Battlefield. Is, isn't Battlefront Battlefield with Star Wars skin? Battle I hate it when people say that because I we've played it now I and know. it does not feel like Battlefield. Like I agree. Battlefield right. 3067. <laughs> it's the same. Well, it's in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. Long, long time ago. Okay, so anyway, it's 360. We're going to be talking about some more news, and we've got a lot of more exciting things to go over with you when we get back. Hey everybody, welcome back. We just got done talking about uh, Battlefield uh, coming to 2016, and let's talk a little bit more about that. Okay. By the way, you're watching Press Start TV. Uh, my name's Will, this is Nine. Yep. This is Gage. Still here. 
So Battlefield, I mean, move. this game here uh, is an annualized thing now, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Sort I mean, it's getting yeah. there. Well, I mean, it was there, and then it, it broke. It was annualized, and then they broke. And then Visceral was like, no, we got it this year. Well, just Battlefield kinda... 4 had a really <laughs> bad launch, yeah. and they're like, we don't want that to happen again, so let's push Battlefield Hardlines out a little bit. And now the next Battlefield is now going to be a year or more after Hardlines. Now, sure. do, you guys, do you guys think that they'll continue with the cops and robbers thing? No. Or? No. No. I think they'll go 2143. Do you? Yes. <laughs> it was teased like mad in Battlefield 4, and I just think that's where they'll go. Okay. That's what the fans want. Or they'll do dinosaurs finally. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Well, they, I mean, they've got dinosaur Easter eggs all over 3 and 4. Yeah. I and hard Why don't they do, uh, Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they keep changing it up. Who knows? We'll, maybe we'll it's Turok. <laughs> <laughs> In the Battlefield. Dice game. is going to do Turok. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, so, so Battlefield 2016. Uh, look out for that. Uh, let's talk about Mario games. Very uh, similar games. In Mario. <laughs> Mario games. Battlefield. It, when you hear Mario, you think video game. I mean, it, it, Absolutely. He, he's been... Let's it, talk Mario Lopez. Hundreds of, of uh, <laughs> Super Mario, I should say. There you go. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of games. Um, I mean, just basically ha has driven Nintendo to to like the grandfather more popular games. than Mickey Mouse. I think uh, one statistic showed at one point, but you know, everybody recognizes him, even if they haven't played a game. They know who Mario is. Even if you've never played video games, you know who Mario is. So let's talk about his worst games. Mario Party games. Mario Party games? All the Mario Party. I hate. How could you say I that? Hate the Mario you mean you Party didn't know? Games. I. That's crazy. <laughs> How many good Mario g Party games are there? Uh, eight. For people who like them, sure. Four I don't bad like ones. them. You asked me even, my opinion. Even this is if my you opinion. don't play the game as it is, like a board game, even if, all the mini games on there, are I don't of fun. like twenty like percent of the time. I play the board game. I really just exactly. Don't. I just play I mean, mini games. Are a blast. Yeah, they're a lot I of mean, fun. I mean, man, we've had some fun doing I hate that, them. man. <sighs> Crazy. Uh, well, you're not invited. <laughs> fine by me. Gage, worst Mario game. You can't say 64. Other than 64. So for those of you who don't know, Gage does not like Mario 64. Let's get that out, okay? Bad. You, you okay. Other than Mario 64, what do you I think? don't know. Mario Tennis, Mario Golf. Uh, All the sports? The sports ones. Mario Party New Island, Mario Party 10, 9. Uh, 8765432, No, those We're are all, all fine. Those are all good. Um, <laughs> the Mario is Missing game, it's not a Nintendo game, but it's a bad game. Is that the one where you're Luigi? Yep. And you're you looking for like Mario. City? You're in San Francisco. Oh, that for game some is reason. so bad. It's so I forget stupid. about that game. It's so it's bad. It's not okay. licensed. Anyway, I, I, those are the games I don't. Like. I didn't really care for the island game anyway, but I, I th I'm going to go with that. Mario's missing. Yeah, it's bad. Probably one of my worst experiences. It's not, so well, bad, I forgot about it. It's barely say, a barely a Mario game. You're insane for saying Mario Tennis. Mario Tennis is an amazing game. It's not. I do like tennis. Oh man. I like Strikers though. Oh, Strikers that was another one. I don't like Strikers. Of all the sports games, Strikers is probably my favorite. <laughs> Mario Tennis is just a phenomenal game. Um, okay, well, let's talk about best Mario experiences. Best Mario game. Uh, out there. Gage, we'll start with you. Mario, uh, Super Mario Wii U is awesome. Uh, Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart 8 are probably my, my two favorite Mario games of all time. Uh, I enjoyed 2, Super Mario 2. Yeah, a lot of people don't like 2. I like 2. 2 was I one of my first two. Mario experiences. Because I think That's I played cool. that before I, mean, I played was, the you original. You play as all the other characters. Luigi, Toad, Peach, It was Mario, a good introduction awesome. to right. those characters. Shy Guy was introduced in there. So that's what I got. So if you had to pick one? Mario, Double Dash, probably. Double Dash. Yeah, I like Double Dash a lot. Nice. Nine, how about Mine's you? Mine's quick and easy. Yeah. Mario Brothers 3. That's a great choice. Love Super Mario Brothers 3. Oh, it's yeah. the first game that I actually like beat beginning to end, like the whole way through. Yeah, I mean, it, Love it. And, and it's amazing to look oh, at the NES so Mario games because one, two, and three are also different from each other. Oh, they're it's, wildly different. From it's each amazing other. to see what sure. developers can actually and do with the same technology. The graphical difference just between Mario 1 and Mario 3 is phenomenal. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's what they, like I mean, Mario 3 could be like, in my opinion, looks just as good as Nintendo. like a big early Super Nintendo game. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. They did a lot with a little. Yes. yes. Well, yeah, for me, uh, you know, I. There's a lot of great Mario games out there. I mean, I'll, I'll probably have to go with three as well. I think it was a it was a huge title, mega release. Um, it was a lot of fun. They did introduce uh, new costumes and that whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. But and of course, we're on like we're on the verge of Super Mario Maker dropping too. Oh, yeah, man. you know that's going to be a, a great thing for for that people getting in development, but also just finally 
trying to create a game that they wanted to play, their yeah. own Mario game, you know? I know you had some time with that out at uh, Nintendo World Championships. It was cool. It was very, I mean, I've played it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and the, seeing what people who work on games can do with that, I am excited to see what the community can do. Because yeah. I, I don't know that I want to build game uh, levels so much because I just want to get in there and play what other play people are doing. Other, yeah. yeah. So that's where I think we're all creativity myself. creativity somebody else. Yeah, I'm like, you guys do all the work. I'll sit back and play it. I'll put it on YouTube. Hey, good job. Good job. Yeah. So much fun. Pat, how about this? What is next for Mario? What do we want from him? Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> Probably a Oh, that's not Mario. <laughs> but I do want that's Mario. I do want more Luigi's Mansion stuff. That's the Mario I agree. Family. We all want more Luigi's Mansion. Probably, Probably more, more Mario, Mario Party. Probably some more platformers that you're going to see. Oh, Super Mario Galaxy 3. You think? Yeah. Galaxy it's time. I want to see Sunshine 2. We just came 2. out with a Mario Party. Sunshine 2. I want, I want nice. Sunshine 2. Ooh, Sunshine 2. That's not bad. Because I really liked Sunshine. It was different. Way different. I wonder if they do it too, though. Hmm. There's not much story there, though. Do so, we do a whole new, whatever. whole new game? What can you do? What do you want to do that's Mario I don't friendly? Know. They could do, I mean, Platformer they, they is they the bread and Mario butter. anywhere. Nintendo does a that's great true. job of reinventing them every single time. New Super Mario Bros. He kind of feels like new the, Super Mario the lab. Galaxy. Mario is like the lab rat for Nintendo. <laughs> of course <laughs> they always put their, their Here's our he, new thing. Been, so much so Mario. that they put him in a cat costume in the, in the last game. It was very cute and I liked <laughs> it a lot. It was awesome. <laughs> All right, well, obviously Mario has a place in, in gaming history. We all know that, and uh, we're excited to see what he comes next. Uh, that's all the time we have for you today. Check us out on uh, YouTube.com slash PSVGTV, Twitch.tv slash Press underscore Start underscore TV, and Facebook.com slash Press Start VG. Thank you guys so much for joining us, as always. Until next time, see ya. Later. Love you.